Thursday, the 10th of October, 2024. First reading. Reading from the book of Galatians. Are you people in Galatia mad? Has someone put a spell on you, in spite of the plain explanation you have had of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ? Let me ask you one question. Was it because you practiced the law that you received the Spirit, or because you believed what was preached to you? Are you foolish enough to end in outward observances what you began in the Spirit? Have all the favors you received been wasted? And if this were so, they would most certainly have been wasted. Does God give you the Spirit so freely and work miracles among you because you practice law, or because you believed what was preached to you? Responsorial Psalm Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited His people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. In the house of David His servant, as He promised by the lips of holy men, those who were His prophets from of old. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited His people and redeemed them. A Savior who would free us from our foes from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia! Alleluia! I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia! Gospel Reading from the book of Luke Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend and goes to him in the middle of the night to say, My friend, lend me three loaves, because a friend of mine on his travels has just arrived at my house and I have nothing to offer him. And the man answers from inside the house, Do not bother me. The door is bolted now, and my children and I are in bed. I cannot get up to give it you. I tell you, if the man does not get up and give it him for friendship's sake, persistence will be enough to make him get up and give his friend all he wants. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For the one who asks always receives. The one who searches always finds. The one who knocks will always have the door open to him. What father among you would hand his son a stone when he asked for bread? Or hand him a snake instead of a fish? Or hand him a scorpion if he asked for an egg? If you then, who are evil, know how to give your children what is good, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Gospel of the Lord